is Sunday and we're going to do some real American things today and that would be going to the shooting range. Uh, we've just come here and I walked in the door, I signed up, I just gave them my driver's license and told them that I was 18 and agreed to a whole bunch of stuff I didn't read. I paid them $10 and I watched a safety video and now I am authorized to shoot within the confines of this building. What, what will we be shooting today? We're gonna be shooting two size nine millimeter guns. Okay. Uh, 45. Is that bigger than this? That's bigger than that. Those okay, I can't make my hand bigger, but that's fine. And, uh, we're going to shoot a 357 Magnum revolver. Okay, and that's the one with the barrel. Yep, and the chamber that rotates. Oh, that's the other, exciting. The other, so is, it, is, it called, is it called a revolver because that revolves? It's a revolver. That's yeah. badass. Uh, and we're also going to shoot uh, a 22 rifle. All right, so that's a long guy. Yep. And we're going to shoot a shotgun using rifle slugs. Uh, and I think the shotgun's probably the most... I, I'm actually nervous. I, I don't know if I'm nervous that there's lots of guns around, or I'm nervous that I'm going to be using them, or I'm nervous that people are going to be watching me use them, or I'm nervous that I'm really going to suck at this. But I'm a little nervous. I can feel it in my chest. Um, and for the shotgun, we're actually... I'm going to be doing a little bit of um, recoil practice. Uh, because hopefully at the end of the month we are going to go skeet shooting and I will try my best to shoot a plate in the air very far away with a shotgun. That is the plan. That is what we are practicing for. And also we're here just to have fun. Yeah. The 22 is not going to have much kick at all. The shotgun is going to kick you pretty good. Is it going to give me a bruise? <laughs> It may. It may give me a bruise. It's a possibility. If you have that coat on, you'll do better. Okay, I can keep that on. I'm always cold, so. This is all kind of leading up to doing some outdoor shooting and really just getting some practice with guns because I haven't shot any guns in a while and uh, kind of need to get those jitters away before I actually want to do something that is a little more challenging. <laughs> and also in front of other relatives that would yeah. make her probably more embarrassed. Yeah, you, you got to show up your cousins and your uncles as best you can. They shoot all the time. They shoot all the time. So I'm just gonna try my best. I am all suited up. I have my ear gear and my eye gear and basically you go in this door here and then the shooting begins. So I'm gonna take you in there. That's kind of a noise canceling room. So you go in there and you wait. You can kind of hear the guns. I'm gonna go through and you're gonna hear the guns. There are no more bullets and then it scares you. It's like hitting a stair when you're walking, going up the stairs. It's scary. I had our first shooting, well, my first shooting experience, and uh, that was kind of scary. Um, I de the sound shook my body a lot more than I thought it was going to, and I jumped a lot. For like the first 10 minutes we were in there, I was really jumpy, and I still kind of refused to stand next to my dad while he shoots because the casing is flying, and the sound that you're not in control of is too close for me. I am sure I'll get used to it. By the time we left after about 50 minutes of shooting, I wasn't having any trouble with the sound, except for we went past someone and they were shooting something that just sounded like they, like they were blowing up the world. And that was a little scary. But uh, I'll probably get used to that, maybe. By the end of the day? We're going to be shooting bigger guns now. Great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> So we went to the shooting range maybe about two weeks ago and that was in preparation to do some skeet shooting and uh, I am now in the countryside hanging out at my grandfather's house and my uncle and my dad and my brother 
he is a dweeb. Um, they have all come to do some skeet shooting. Some of us are very novice. Some of us may be very good at it and hopefully can teach the others. Um, we're gonna try our best today. I am pretty sure that I will hit no discs, but I will shoot guns. And uh, hopefully the practice that I had two weeks ago proves beneficial in some way, or I'll just be terrified by the shotgun the entire time. I don't know, but should be fun nonetheless. I can feel him creeping up on me. Hi. <laughs> I think I'm going to end up like learning a lot today. My uncle and my dad have been shooting for a long time and I just saw that my brother is really good at shooting. Like, what? I did not know this about him, but I'm going to learn a lot from them today. Um, and one of the things that I found is there are weird shooting contraptions I didn't know existed. And this is one of them. What you can do is you can hit it with your bullet and it flips over to the other side. So it's like a perpetual target. It just goes on and on and on and on and on. And I've just, I've, I've hit it a few times, not as much as everyone else, but it is really cool. I didn't know these existed. I, I always thought they just had like paper targets or like deer targets and things like this. I didn't know they had these amazing things that make it really easy to just practice. And I'm really impressed and I want to shoot this a lot. <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> okay. Wow. It doesn't have as much kick as expected, but it is, uh, you're living. You are freaking living. Usually. <laughs> there you go. I think I hit it twice. A tree? <laughs> yeah, shut up. That's as American as you can get right there. No. <laughs> yeah, you hit the man. That's all that matters. Did I hit the man? Yeah. Yep. You're out of ammo now. Oh. <laughs> I hate that feeling. You get all psyched up and then you come yep. around and tell me you're out of ammo and it's so disappointing. <laughs> cool. You wanna we wanna get on some of this action? Or do you wanna you wanna okay. hey, flip? You can, you can use mine. Yeah, I do. Um, somebody will probably hand me a gun and I'll wonder how I'm supposed to use it and then I'll use it and I'll wonder how I used it. Connie's gonna take care of you right now. Connie, She's handing you a gun. Okay. You can put this in there. Okay, down put, into the bottom. You can put it there, push it up, up a little bit, and go up. up and put sight right there. Alright, so. Mm -hmm. So, I think she's ready. I'm ready. I'm, I'm forested, but ready. Go ahead and pull. Oh my goodness, okay. The rest of the day could be shit, and it doesn't matter. <laughs> Somebody got, got it. it. I don't know. I did. Who I hate him. Whoever says I, I did it, I guess. <laughs> Whoever says it first. Got yeah. it. <laughs> quick, look, cool, quick. I'm trying. I'm trying so much. <laughs> <laughs> it hit me in the face. It hit you right in the <laughs> face. <laughs> <sighs> so cool. <laughs> Set your ass down. <laughs> Shooting for the day has finished and shot a lot of different guns. Like everybody was like, do you want to shoot this? And the answer is always yes, but do I remember what I shot? No, other than a shotgun. And I actually managed to shoot two skeets, two pigeons that went up into the air. I can't even believe that I shot them for one and two feel like I couldn't recreate that, but my aunt says I'm not allowed to talk negatively. I could definitely recreate that. Um, loved it. Thought it was really exciting. The guns, at least for the shotgun, are way heavier than expected. Um, my shoulders and my arms are 
exercised. Everybody talks about the kickback. That wasn't a problem. I maybe had one hit me that kind of hurt a little bit, but that wasn't too bad. Um, just the sheer weight of the guns and holding them in a particular way that you don't normally hold things, it just is a bit exhausting. Like my arm is shaking right now as I'm doing this video and it's mainly because my arms are so tired. Um, but you kind of just work through it so you can keep shooting. Um, it was an excellent, excellent experience that one day I'm looking forward to doing maybe in not cold weather. Um, could be kind of nice to come out on a summery night and just shoot some skeet. So that, that could be fun in the future. Shooting guns in America? A plus. Absolutely thrilling. Would do again. Pull it down. Pull it down. Go, go, go. Pull it down. Break I don't it. understand. Like, but okay, it's okay. Yeah. Some girl shit right here. Hey everybody, I hope you're enjoying the uh, the Katie videos in America as much as I am. I really think it's cool that she's doing these things that are like super, super American. Like, you, you can't do that in Japan. Like, <laughs> you can't just go out into a field and shoot things. Like, that, that doesn't fly here. But um, that's like something that's like purely American. And even though it's not something that her and I really have any experience with at all, uh, it's really cool that she has access to that through her family members and stuff to get to go and experience that and it looks like she had a lot of fun and I had a lot of fun editing it and it's kind of interesting like kind of hanging out with her family like through an editing process it was kind of fun because like I mean I know these people everything so it was just sort of um, kind of like going to like a party but like from out like without leaving my without the leaving the couch, you know? <laughs> so I don't know, it was, it was, it was, a, it was a, cool video to, a cool video to edit. And of course, if you liked it, it would be great if you could hit the thumbs up button and um, it would be great if you could do all those other lovely things, the subscribe button and the yada, yada, yada button. Um, and as usual, we have a Facebook, we have a Twitter, we have a Patreon page where we use, um, we use the Patreon page to fund our videos and stuff. So if you wanna help us out financially, that's a good way to do it. Uh, and we have a Reddit page. I'm getting better at this. It's all starting to pop off the top of my head. Um, I'm going to keep this end card a little bit short since the video is a little short. It seems a little silly to have like a 20 minute end card and like an 11 minute video. So, um, I had a, um, a, a, a comment on YouTube that came in, uh, very recently, like maybe a couple of hours ago from the user Smelly Durian. And I love that name. So, um, Smelly Durian. <laughs> has got uh, four questions, and I'm going to kind of bust through these things like as fast as I possibly can just because I think they're the kind of questions you can do that with. Um, uh, Smelly Durian's first question is, is there a country you really want to visit but you never got the chance to? And basically, yeah, about 170 countries. <laughs> like, I can't think of very many countries I wouldn't like to experience in some way. Um, especially if I could do it safely. So I don't know. I just want to, I want to go, I want to go places I don't know anything about. That's what we love doing that. We love going someplace like and not knowing what's going on. That's what Katie did with the gun stuff. She went there and did something she knows nothing about because that's, I, we, that's how we like to live. Like we just like to do things that are outside of our comfort zone to a certain degree, as long as you're, you know, safe. So like that's, um, something that uh, I guess that's a big part of our philosophy, I guess, if you could even call it that. But uh, yeah, so I'd like to go basically anywhere. Um, and then Smelly Durian follows up and says, if you were to travel to Europe, what countries would you want to visit the most? And the dream answer is we would love to get a motorbike and go from Portugal to Istanbul on the motorbike over like a year time period and like kind of like follow the warm weather through Europe. And that would be wonderful. Um, I don't know if that's going to ever be a financially viable thing, but it would be a damn cool adventure. Uh, realistically, we'd love to go to Sweden. We have some very, very good friends in Sweden and we just love to see them and spend some time with them and see their world um, and check out that part of the world. And we've met so many Swedish people and they're always amazing. So I think that would be a, a very cool, a very cool trip for us. Um, next question from Smelly Durian. If we were to travel to South or Central America, what countries would you like to see, see or explore the most? So we've been to Costa Rica and that was a pretty cool place. Um, I don't know a whole lot about Central and South America, to be completely honest with you. So um, it would be really out there, like as far as I would, it would be putting us in that area where we're really exploring. Um, 
Cuba to me is so cool, like just the imagery in my head about Cuba and like the old American cars and the culture there and stuff is really cool. I don't know if that counts quite as Central America, is that Caribbean or how it works geographically, but that, that's a country in that region that sticks out in my head. And Argentina just seems really beautiful. Every time I see, every time I see footage of Argentina and Chile, I, it's just like, wow, those two countries are really cool. And Chile is especially cool just because it's like this long, narrow country. There's something like geographically awesome about that. And um, uh, Smelly Durian's last question is, when you leave Japan, what is the one thing you will miss most about it? And that's like impossible to answer. Like, it, it, we've, been, we've been here for like seven years, six years. I can't even remember anymore. We've been here for a while. And it's just like, what would I miss? I don't know. My life? Like, it's like, it's hard to even like begin to answer that. I guess if I have to give you one answer, I would probably say the safety of it. Um, I hope wherever we go next is as is, is comparably as safe as Japan is. Like, I, I would hope it's not a dangerous place. I don't want to live in a dangerous place. So the safety here is unparalleled, and it's wonderful. Um, of course, I could make a list that's like 10 miles long <laughs> of things that I would miss about living in Japan. So I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, let's see. I'm thinking things coming up soon. Um, probably more Katie in America stuff is going to be coming. Um, more Borneo stuff is coming. I just had a video come out last week. I'm just starting another video edit on that today. And hitchhiking stuff is going to keep rolling. And then more stuff in Japan. So, you know, as usual, I hope everybody is, um, well entertained and enjoying the videos. And sticks around for more future videos. Thanks, everyone.